Are they on crack? What's wrong with them? I normally don't sit here on my high horse and act like I know what's good and bad in wrestling booking and what you should do and shouldn't do and the proper way to use somebody and this and that. I hate those know-it-all entitled fans. I don't want to be like that. But this shit is beyond infuriating. Bobby Lashley, it's almost as if they have it out for him and they're putting him in ridiculous situations week after week. This is a guy that beat your poster boy clean at your last pay-per-view. He has a victory over Roman Reigns. That should tell you that they want to keep this guy in the main event picture. And he could be a big potential opponent for a Brock Lesnar, for a Braun Strowman. And you know he's going to have a rubber match with Roman Reigns somewhere down the line most likely with a title on the line. So in the meantime, while you're waiting to get on the other side of SummerSlam, why don't you try to continue Lashley rolling in the best way possible? We already know he's got a huge problem with the audience. They don't give a shit. They couldn't care less about the guy. So that's been a problem since he got there. And boy, is WWE doing jack shit to fix that problem. If anything, they're making him worse. And I've had a big problem with the way he's been utilized outside of the ring. In the ring, you can judge him for that. He is what he is. Uh, He's a badass. He's a big boy with some MMA background, and he should be a big, respected, tough guy badass, you know, with the life that he's had. But instead, he's coming off like a fucking dumbass. It's like he has no street smarts whatsoever. First, he gets conned into doing that ridiculous obstacle course a few weeks back or months back, whatever that was with Sami Zayn. And that whole thing was dumb because how in the world, in a real life situation, would you be dumb enough to let somebody convince you to go through a goddamn obstacle course just to get attacked at the end? If anything, Lashley should have been like, you know what? You go first, Sami Zayn. You go kill yourself on that obstacle course and then I'll go through and shatter whatever time you had. And you're going to be too damn tired to attack me after anyway. But instead, Lashley, like a fucking lab rat, the scientist says, hey, go run in the maze. And he goes and runs in the maze. And then he gets his ass kicked for it. And I hated that. The sister shit was bad enough that they did with him and Sammy. And now this, I'm like, oh, my God, they're making Lashley look like a fool. Now they've got him in this uh, deal with Elias on TV. And everybody loves Elias. This guy's a heel that has the fans eating out of the palm of his hand. Very Rock-like. Rock was like that. He was a bad guy and the fans just chanted along with him anyway. And so this guy's already kind of over. He's more over as a heel than Lashley is as a babyface. And last week, Elias makes Lashley look like a fool on Raw in one of the worst, most uncomfortable botches I've ever seen. They're trying to sing together, and Lashley doesn't even know the words to Rock and Robin, or he forgets the words or something. And it was the worst singing attempt I've ever heard. WWE should know the last thing you really need to do with Bobby Lashley to get him over at the audience or maybe to display some of his charisma the last thing he needs to be doing is singing and he doesn't need to be singing next to Elias either who's a pretty damn good singer so he looked like shit doing that didn't know the words to the song then got beat down then he comes out last Monday on Raw and interrupts Elias again Elias is in the ring attempting to do his thing Lashley comes out and once again He's made to look like a fool, although he does make a comeback this time. But Lashley, or I'm sorry, Elias has got like his camera crew there because he's filming his documentary or whatever the hell's going on there. Lashley interrupts him and cuts a promo that gets absolutely no reaction whatsoever from the audience. And then Elias pretends to kind of help out the camera crew. Okay, get out of the ring. This isn't a place for you guys. And he's stalling and he's stalling and he's stalling. And Bobby Lashley should know to keep his eyes open. But nope, stupid Bobby Lashley, a guy that spent time in the armed forces, doesn't see this sneak attack coming and Elias throws a clipboard at him and it hits him in the head and then he starts attacking him and I was like, I'm watching this during the live stream and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. What are they doing? They're making him look like a chump. Finally, he gets his comeback, winds up beating the hell out of Elias, but it doesn't matter. WWE every week is putting this guy in situations that makes him look worse and worse and making the fans care even less about him. This guy is one notch above Titus Worldwide as far as the reaction he gets from the audience. I would like to do the Pepsi Challenge of Wrestling Pops with Dana Brooke and Bobby Lashley. Have them both come out to the ring and see who the fans react to louder. I bet you it's a fucking tie. This is not a knock on Lashley. I'm not angry with Lashley. I'm angry with WWE. Because you should be able to look at a talent and be able to see their strengths and their weaknesses. And one of Lashley's weaknesses is trying to be in little silly-ass interviews and silly promos. He's really not a good talker at all. And you got Paul Heyman crying on TV in an Oscar-winning performance or Emmy-winning performance on Raw, and then you have the absolute opposite of that in Bobby Lashley. And when you think about it, 
Bobby Lashley, a guy who cannot cut promos, and that's been exposed now on TV in the past, I don't know how many weeks in a row on Monday Night Raw, maybe you put Heyman with Lashley. I mean, I think that would be the best thing for Lashley at this point because he's got nothing else to offer. And the funny thing is, is that once they do the match with Lashley and Elias, I don't know if they're going to announce that for SummerSlam or not. I think we already have about 12 or 13 matches announced, so I don't know if there's room for Lashley and Elias. But if there is, you know Lashley's going to win. I have no doubt that whenever they face in the ring, Lashley will spear and pin Elias. But that doesn't change the fact that the fans don't give a shit about him at all, and they're much more into Elias. And Elias is a better character, and Elias just has a better overall presentation than Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley doesn't connect, and I think he has the potential to connect if WWE would understand what you can accentuate and embellish about Bobby Lashley. Lashley that will get the fans interested because what they're doing now, it's like it's like the writing team writes segments without considering and taking into consideration the talent that's in the segment. You can't just write a promo for anybody. You know, you got to think about who it is, who's delivering it, who's going to be saying the words. And I swear, the way they're booking Lashley, it doesn't seem like any of that matters to them. Or at least it doesn't matter, you know, to, to a talent like Lashley, but it should. They put him over Roman Reigns. This is not a jobber. So you would think they would want to get as much bang for their buck as possible with Lashley because I'm sure he's being paid quite handsomely, the fact that he's going to be a main event guy. So wouldn't you want to make the best of him? And I think he's being horrendously underutilized and underappreciated, and I think he could be treated better, and I think WWE could put him into situations that wouldn't make him look so bad. And uh, Bobby Lashley, since he can't talk and can't do anything else, have him stand there with his arms crossed, looking like a badass, sweating bullets with Paul Heyman by his side, talking about what a badass he is. You know, to me, I'd much rather see them go in that direction than this bullshit that they're doing with Lashley right now. So the whole Lashley presentation and the usage of Lashley right now is driving me crazy. I'm assuming you guys agree with that, but if you don't, please feel free to let me know in the comments below.